Hello everyone, I'm back. Did you miss me? My name is Femlayo from Back Media and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been absent for a while, but for good reasons. And I'm happy to announce that I am back on YouTube and the plans for the rest of the year is to release a video a day to make a 100 days programming challenge. So for the next 100 days, there would be one video every day tackling a particular tax in Python. So we would cover the basics of Python, we would cover web development, and we would also build simple projects that you can start with as a beginner. So today is day one, and we will be talking about print statements. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Now to the screen. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey of 100 days of programming. So this is day one. And as every programming journey starts, it starts with print statements. That's why I decided to start with print. Print statement is a function in Python that allows you to output your text, your number, your other data types, that's your dictionary, your list to the screen. And this is one of the first things you learn when you're starting coding. Remember, anytime you see like someone starting code, the first thing they do is to print out a low word. So this video, I will be going through some types of print statements, some steps you can use to improve your printing, content, concatenation, and so on. So first, the basic usage of print. So let us print something that everybody prints out when they start coding, and that is a low word. This is a string. This is the simplest way to print out a string. I forgot to mention that this Jupyter Notebook and every other Jupyter Notebook that we would use for this 100 days is available in my GitHub. Link is in the bio for you to download. And at the end of every video, there will be practice questions for you to try out. And you can put your result or the way you would solve it, you can put it in the comment section and we can talk about the code together. So the odd second step is printing multiple values. You, is not, you can't just only print strings in Python and other programming language. It also allows you to print in multiple values. So for example, if I want to print both a string and an integer, I can do that. So for example, I can say the result is and then separated by a comma. The result is 45. So yeah, I'm printing both a string and an integer. And if I run this, it's print out what I have in the bracket. So print function just print out whatever you have in the bracket. Whatever you have in the bracket, it brings it out for you. So Python would automatically add space between the values when you're printing out multiple items. Let's try it. Let me remove the space that is here. And when I run it, it automatically adds space. And number four, we have custom separators. As you can see, we used comma as our separator here. But do you know you can also use other punctuation marks as your separators? Let me show you, for example. So imagine I want to print out. Again, printing is printing out whatever you have in the parentheses. So now I want to print out fruits. Who oh, doesn't like fruits? And then cherry. And then I can add my separator. Just have to put SEP and then my separator. I want a comma. And when I print this, you get a comma. I didn't add the space there. You know, without the separator, it automatically adds the space. But if you use a separator, you have to like put a space in between, and that is your space. What if I want to use this punctuation mark, for example? One second, my keyboard is acting funny. And there you have it. So you can customize whatever separator argument you want to use when you are printing out multiple variables or multiple values. So whatever you put here automatically becomes your separator. 
Number five on our list is the custom and character. Imagine this, that you want to print multiple stuff. So if I want to print like hello, and then I want to print world. And then when I run this, you see, it is put automatically like adds a new line at the end of the function. But I don't want there to be a new line. I want it to stay on the same line. So what I can do is to say that I want it to end, wait a space and not a new line. And see when I run this, a low world would be on the same line. So you can determine what you want your separator to be or what you want your character, custom end character to be. So it doesn't want it to be on a new line, you add your end and you add your space. So the print ends with a space instead of a new line so that the second print can then continue on the, on the same line. We also have escape characters. These are some examples of escape characters that you can use inside your string to format your output. So let's try some of them, for example. So I, have, I want to print first line and then second line. I want them to have a new line. So by putting this in between them, it appears on a new line. What if I replace the N with a T for tab, for example? See, this is for spaces, which is a tab. And number seven, we are also able to print out variables, print out values stored in the variables. For example, I want to create a variable. I have name. What is that? Name equals to John. So imagine this person's name is John. And I want to print out his name. But let's also add his age is 25 years old. And I want to print out these values. Yet I will do it. I'll have print. I can just have print name and then it will print out name and I can have print age and then it print out is age but I can also have my string and the variable so I can have name and then remember you put a comma and then you have name and another comma and I also want to have the string for age and do not forget the comma between the string and the variable and I want to print out is age. So we should have name John age 25. So this is how you can print the values that are stored in the variables. And then number eight step that we will do is we want to string format. We want to, there are different ways that Python provides you to format a string. So the first thing that we'll do is concatenation. So let me show you, for example, the name, we're still using John. And then I go to the next line and I want to print hello John. So I have my string that is hello and my comma. and I want a space after my comma. By concatenation, I'm adding a plus sign. So a plus sign is usually what we will use. And then I have name, which is the name of the name of the variable, the variable name. And then I have a plus because I want to also add another string. So it goes on and on and on depending, of, depending on what you want to add. By using the plus, you're joining multiple multiple values, your string, your variable, you can join multiple stops into your print function. And when I run this, we get hello John. And now we also have F string. F string is similar, but we would be using the letter F. We will be using the F string, obviously F. And now the same name, we have John. John is a very special person. I don't know anybody called John. And then age, 
now is 30 years old. And if I want to do F string, this is how you would use an F string. First you have F and then your string. We start with hello and then we have a comma and then we have this parenthesis. I think that's what it's called. I need to brush up on my punctuation's name. And then a dot, not a comma, is this said, and you type out your order strings. You are, and then we have this, the age, is old. You can notice the difference between this and this is that the, the, for the first string that we had, we added, it was all in the, it was all in the apostrophe. And then we add the variable and then we also, add, we used plus. But here you can see it is like one apostrophe that covers it or one quote that covers it, one double quote that covers it all. And then we add like our variable name, we add it in parentheses and then, and then if we run this, you see hello, and then it takes the the name, and then it takes you are uh, 30 years old. So this is uh, how F string works. Now let me show you another method that is using the format method. We're still going to use this variable name and age. And now if you want to print, we have hello, then a comma, and then we have like an empty dictionary. But it's not really a dictionary, parenthesis. And then if you want to learn about dictionary, I already have a video about dictionary on the same page. And then we also have an empty, and then years old. So this is our string, and then we have to decide what values we want to put inside, and that's where the format comes in place. So after the apostrophe, you then put format, bracket, name, comma, age. So that means that name takes the first position, age takes the second position, and if we run this, you see Ella John, you are 30 years old. So this, you can see the difference between F string and format. F string, the variable name comes, is inside the print. While for format, you have to add that format and then your variable name comes at the end. Next, we go to printing data structure. With the print, you can print out your dictionary, you can print out a list, you can print out tuples, you can print out whatever. So for example, this is a list. A list is known by the square brackets. So, and then if I want to print fruits, you have it. You have printed out your list. If you want to print out what is inside the list, then you have to look through it. And then what if you have a dictionary and you want to print out a dictionary? You can also do that. So this is our dictionary, Alice and H. And when you print it, that you get a dictionary. So what are the common errors, finally, of using a print, it's that everything has to be in a bracket when you're printing. You can't just, let me take this, and not put a bracket. Then you would get an error because you're missing the parentheses. But if you put it inside a bracket, then it should work fine. So in this is the first video, there'll be one video every day for the next 100 days. And this video we've learned about the print function, printing multiple values, separators, Xcape characters, concatenation, F string, format method, and so on. That's it for this video. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, to share, and to leave a comment. And the link to the notebook that we worked on is available in my GitHub. Link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you.
tomorrow.